Now you're a, you're a pro. <laughs> it's been a long time since I did this. Sunsets at the fish pond. Isn't this a trip down memory lane? Ah, you see? After an awesome trip through the Cordilleras, today I'm going to descend to the lowlands from here in La Trinidad. I'm going to head down the fourth road that goes down to the western coast. There's actually five ways up to Baguio. This one is not very well known. So of course you have Kennan Road, the Marcos Highway, and you have the road that goes down to Sablan La Union. This one is the Asin Road, the Asin Tunnels, with so, so much history. I'm excited. And this will bring our Cordillera adventure to an end, but this time, but this time of course. But this has really been amazing. So, so, so amazing. This giant dog head is apparently going viral. However, I have to say this, I very much approve of the giant dog head. This right here is a shortcut through to the Assin Road according to Google Maps. Well, I hope it is anyway. Oh, nope. <laughs> Can't get through there. <laughs> nope. I can't blame Google Maps. I'm that hot. I went down the wrong road. F2, Kitte Road. This is a Kitte Road. This road was fine for a while, until we hit this construction. So I went to take a look down. Nope, let's go back up. This is dangerous, very dangerous. So I worked out where the Assin Road actually started and took that route instead. in this rugged landscape, there are some mountains you just can't go around. Oh, wow. Tunnel number one is the shorter, at 95 metres long. Ooh. Number one. That's eerie. Oh. Wow, I'll tell you the story in a minute, but wow. Tunnel two is longer. 158 meters. Again. It's amazing. Look at this. Wow. That echo goes through me. Wow. This river valley here was the plan for a railway. There was a railway in La Union and they wanted to connect it to Baguio. And so they built these tunnels with prisoners of war in the Spanish era. Unfortunately, it was right at the end of the 1890s. And so it was never completed because, of course, you know what happened next. The Americans tried to, but then they realised it was, it was easier for them to complete a road to go to the hydro plants. So that's what they did. But the tunnels were intact. And the, the big earthquake in 1990, not a crack. They're solid, solid tunnels. And again, I've spoken about this before. You feel the history when you ride through them. The noise, the feeling, it's, oh, it's, you feel, you feel it. An incredible, incredible piece of history, an incredible route. And coming down from Baguio, we're down, we're almost in La Union. It's warm. Now it's time for a four hour dash across the insanely hot lowlands. It's time for lunch at this Angeles institution, owned by this 90-year-old lady. How many years have you been this restaurant? This is for 40 years. Wow, this is Mila's, Mila's, she's 90. She's still going, she's been around for 40 years. Used to be in her house next door, now they've extended aircon. And this is Pampangan classic. I'm going to go healthy first, in fact, Hako salad. Full of flavour, full of flavour, wow. 
Mm. Top up my boy, this is tofu. Mmm, mm, mm, right, just right. Pig's ears are always my favourite. Mm. Very healthy. Mm. Crunchy. And I certainly couldn't forget this town's where Cesar came from. Mm. Wow, this is the butt of a chicken. As you do, Toyo. That's interesting. Don't need to try that again. And of course, the the, it, the ear of a pig. I know I like this. And to cleanse the palate, moringa soup. I've never seen malungai soup. I was going to say marasugi. It's not marasugi. Malungai soup. Simple as <laughs> marasugi. It's the fish. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Wow. Right. Yeah, the herbs, the herbal taste is different, you know? I don't know what it is, but it's amazing. This deeper herbal flavour than just malunga. Wow. It was already a late lunch, and now it's a late afternoon dash to nearby Minalin, along the mega dike. Pampanga's defence against lava flows should Mount Pinatubo ever erupt again. I've been invited here by my friend Armin, who has a fish pond nearby. Hey! I thought it's you! It is! <laughs> oh my gosh! How are you, man? Are you ready to go to the fish farm? Let's do it. It's good to see you, my good friend. Good to see you, man. I think we need, I think we need to get some buku juice first. Yeah. Yeah, buku juice. Buku juice. And beer later. I'm trying oh. to find a buku juice, but I think yeah. this will do Oh, the, yeah, this will work. This will work. Oh, Spilt down my shirt already. That hot. Riding to the fish pond, some things were familiar, but many were not. <laughs> Look at the <laughs> yes. Out here, it's fish ponds as far as the eye can see. And we made it in time for sunset. Canadian whiskey. Yeah, Kulas knows that. <laughs> Hi, Kulas. You should be here, Kulas. Vancouver boys. <laughs> this spot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The sunset spot. Yeah. Where's the sunset? That's being uh, <laughs> by the It's a scam sunset. <laughs> That's a nice table. Yeah. Uh, very heavy wood. <laughs> I, I can see. <laughs> this Here is the go. ceremonial drink. Welcome to Pampanga. Canadian whiskey. How does it compare? Well, I guess you're, you're not so far away from Canada now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm closer to Canada than the UK. Canadian whiskey is good though. But first, I need to do something quite familiar. This is a mixture of primas and uh, starter. From like Tati? Yeah, the fishes are like this. I know these sacks very, very well. So while dinner was cooked, we were going out on the boat. I get a chair, very social. Down here. Right, be careful. <laughs> ah. Ah, you see? <laughs> No, no, don't, don't. don't. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought the boat was going to tip back there. I know. Has this boat ever tipped? It does. It did. <laughs> well, you're doing it, my friend. Now you're a, you're a pro. <laughs> it's been a long time since I did this. It's a, uh, you have to... Uh, Consider where the wind is blowing from. Ah, very scientific. Yeah. I think from there. The feeds will, uh, you know, you don't want to waste the feeds. 
probably will just uh, make a turn and then go back and uh, let uh, I'm feeding my jeans. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm staying in the, the middle. I'm I'm, flo I'm floating this thing. <laughs> I'm keeping the balance. I don't care if I fall in. I don't care. <laughs> Except my jeans will be gone because it's. Okay. I know what's in the water. <laughs> well, and your camera, a, right? My camera. Yeah. Well, well, well. I'll get drowned, but your camera won't uh, get wet. <laughs> <laughs> You'll keep it up. You'll, it'll be like, ah! you'll be like, hold my beer. <laughs> like, hold my beer, it's staying out the water. <laughs> How many fish do you have in here? Like, I got like uh, 12,000 uh, 12, pieces of uh, a bangus, the fish, the milk fish, and, uh, and uh, 20,000 tilapia. Okay. Two hectares? Two hectares. <laughs> okay, someone else can do the rest. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. I'm gonna go drink whiskey again. <laughs> jump over. Just jump over. Yeah, just jump. Okay. How's this? How's this? How's this? Jump you over. You ready? You ready? Yeah. All right. That's memory lane. How are you, Mr. Selfie Man? <laughs> okay. Now the pros are going for it. Are they going to go further away? The next morning, I wanted to learn some more. All right, and that's me. Okay, let's get this right. That's okay. You lived in Vancouver for how many years? 16 years. So 16 years in Canada, and now you came back. You're yeah. from here. Pampanga. Yeah, yeah. Pampa, Pampangan, Pampanga. Well, uh, there's, a, there's a story there. The, not, uh, not everybody knows. Oh, yeah. Not everyone knows the real story why I came back to the Philippines. Actually, it's all planned. I, I got dual citizenship. I came back for my mom. My dad was still alive. That was February years ago because he, he loves fishing and I need a fish farm. I want to have a fish farm. I want to stay in the fish farm. I've, I've been saving money for that. Then one February, I came back to, uh, you know, to, for vacation. I thought he, he was still okay. Then I, came, I went back to Vancouver after three months, four months. They called me. He's gone. It's like I was devastated. It's like I failed him. Until now, I, I got that feeling I failed him. My mom, she's, she's, she's already old, right? I, I, I don't want to feel the same thing again. So I decided, I may, I'm making money there, right? In Vancouver, but Right now, I gotta go home for my mom. Do this fish farm for her, which I failed to do, my dad. But, but I'm going back, of course. I'm not giving back. I'm not giving, giving up uh, Canada. Mm. That's why I got dual citizenship. But I just gotta do this. Man, that's... You're a good man, huh? You're a good man. I just hope you're you... You're a better man than me. I'll tell you I, that. But I'm, I, I love... But, what I'm doing here now is uh, at least I experience, you know, there's, there's one thing in life that there's one thing more important than money. It's time. Filipinos spend millions to go to Canada. And there I am. I'm going back to the Philippines. <laughs> Why? Because they don't know the story. Yeah. Now, now I understand. That's, wow. I didn't know that. Huh? Yeah. Ah, wow. Yeah, that's, you're really... And how's, how's your fish pond doing? In God's grace, you know, if you have a relationship with God, if you believe He's your captain of your life, there's no problem at all. When's your first harvest going to be? August. Okay, let's have a look. I'm going to I'm gonna go, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to have a look inside this way. Keep your hands off the waitress. Yes. <laughs> Who's the waitress? <laughs> all visitors. <laughs> <laughs> The best is, the be this is the best. The CR is the best. Looks simple on the outside. The door's closed, okay. Wow! Oh, toilet. Look at that! Yeah, you have a shower. It's nicely set up inside. Yeah, man. If I'll be spending uh, years here, time here, uh, at least I want to sleep well, nice bed, and I want to shower well, you know. Yeah, man. Li li life is too short. Life mm. is too short, right? You gotta feel the best, whatever you do, every second of your life. 
a good sleep and a good shower, most important thing in the world. Is there anything like that? Oh man. And a cup of tea. And a <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that's next. Cup of tea. I forgot about this, it's brewing still. Now we're talking. There's some very large drones. Are those black hooks? This is I've not seen I've never seen that before. Yeah, this is boga, boga. We call it boga. It's like boga. a uh, DIY uh, mini cannon for the birds. The nature the alcohol. Ah, that's loud. <laughs> ah, I maybe jump. That's how we uh, sus away the birds. I thought I heard birds. I thought it's not very effective, but then it's because the birds are in a cage. <laughs> but it's time to go ahead. The capital awaits. I'll see you again soon, huh? Stay safe, huh? God bless you. God bless, God bless. This is cool. It's good to see someone else doing what I dream to do, really. And I see the passion, you know? Right, I've got to go to Manila. I was meant to be there yesterday. I got very, very delayed along the way. <laughs> Let's see if I can work this out. I've got to wander through the fish ponds and not fall in them. The next adventure awaits. Right now I'm on the shortcut to the highway. <laughs> the, the main road's actually closed because they're building the PNR on the left, you see above the fence. And just like that, we're leaving Pampanga behind. And when this is complete, I'm definitely gonna try it out. And at Monumento, the biggest challenge of all begins. Edsa. And if the British government want to revoke that driving license I still have from there for my use of this roundabout, I understand. Which one's the motorbike lane? I don't actually know. I know there's a motorbike lane, I don't know where it is. Having survived Edsa, my friends took me to try some good food. I'm here in Manila with friends, actually we're in Pasig City now. And there's a place I always wanted to try out. This is where I stayed once, by the way. This humble restaurant is the brainchild of Tanvir, a Pakistani guy who moved here five years ago with his Filipino wife. Uh, this one is chutney special here. Oh, special. I'm excited for this. I, I'm, I'm very, very excited. I've been meaning to come here, well, ever since I heard about it, so. I'm getting very excited. Paratha with minced meat and minty goodness. <laughs> Your secret sauce, I like, I like this. You're spoiling this today. Mm. I'm gonna try everything. Biryani. That's flavour. Wow. It's like you've secretly hidden the spices in the meat. That's really, really good. I love this food already. The spices were injected into the meat. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a scientist? <laughs> Chicken curry. Wow. It's tender, that's tender. This one's ground beef, right? <laughs> oh, with the bread. Okay, okay, okay. So I put a bit of this on here. This mint sauce is the best thing ever. This is awesome. This is awesome. Were you were you a chef back home? Or? This is like metal dad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have enough hands. I said before, humans need three hands. <laughs> Do you air freight? <laughs> we might have to order from Dava. <laughs> Mmm! Someday we will visit Davao because I miss durian. 
I oh. love I love durian. You love durian too. I yeah. didn't travel to Davao just for durian three years ago. You should come in August. Yeah. Come to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's eat too. Oh, I'd... last time I I think I visited there in September. I think. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Good, good time for durian. How did you come to the Philippines, though? <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued. Because I love Philippines. I have very good friends like, like them. Same reason I stayed here. <laughs> Same reason I stayed here was just people are so welcome. Because the life is very easy. Yeah? It's just like... It's very like, relaxed. Very it's relaxed, relaxed. yeah. Yes. I think priorities are right here. Because I have a very good experience in the, the country, in the region, especially in Malaysia. I've been with the Thailand also, Indonesia also. Mm. But I feel more relaxed here in Philippines. I agree. And the people especially amazing, very friendly, very warm, welcome everybody. So now I, I have uh, very good friends because of this business. Yeah, I have very good friends like them and then the, almost all Filipino customers here like my friends, not only customers, more than, more than customers. That's awesome, huh? that's yeah. awesome, that's really awesome, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I like that a lot. So I've got chai in a minute. This is the best welcome to Manila I could have ever had. I'm going to be here a couple of days and then I'm going to continue south and I'm getting on a boat somewhere. I'm not entirely sure, but I'll get on the boat somewhere and disappear off. It's been great in Luzon. Really been great. Try it. Try it. No, it's too hot. I'll try it later. It's hot. It is hot. <laughs>